and Jamaican people. Yes, when Indians get in the dance hall, dog nyam for you no supper. <laughs> when the Indians get in the dance hall business and the reggae business, Jamaica, it will be end for you. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Wait a minute, get it. People, I'm confused. I am really confused. People, I saw my son listen to this rap music and people. For me, I thought it was a brother spitting rhymes. You know, people, I'm not really into rap music. However, I was curious about his linguistic fortitude. So people, it piqued my interest. And my son said, Daddy, do you know it's a... Indian rapper, an Indian rapper named Hanuman Kind, and he dropped this lyrics called Big Dogs, and people is just tearing up the shorts. He had 99 million views in one month. <laughs> American rappers, you're in big trouble. American rappers, you're becoming extinct. I'm a big stepper, underground methods, dark nachos, get the most, not the little. People, if you listen lately to the American political sparring, the Republicans are saying that the Democrats left the borders open, and Tucker Carlson says there is an invasion happening in the American borders. But people, there's an invasion taking place on black music. Because when you listen to this music, people, the man is spitting rhymes. And they're like dimes, but you can't spend them on lime. Yeah, I feel like I got some kind of style too. Here, <laughs> people. Underground methods, dark nachos, get the most, not the lizard. Isn't that little Wayne? Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, let me hear it again. You hear that, people? He's a trendsetter, rolling with the big dogs. I think I missed the other part, but that's all right. But people, I am saying, this is an Indian guy spitting flows like Lil Wayne. Now, if you play close attention, do you realize Indians in America is literally buying up all the motels in the urban space? <laughs> So meaning that economically now, they have the highest level of earned income. Now, do you realize that cultural expropriation is taking place? Do you realize that America's cultural imperialism has actually invaded the Indian space? Wait, India has 1.5 billion people. They're the biggest population on the planet. And if they are now getting into rap music, which is shifting the whole paradigm, then black Americans, you're in big, big, big trouble. Yeah, go ahead, get human a kind. Put my body, put my ashes in the river, y'all. That's how we know that the flow about to carry young. Man is even pouring beer. Yo, I thought this was Western culture. I thought this was black culture. Black folks, what happened to you? Wait now. Jamaicans, I'm talk to you now. Caribbean people now. Jamaicans. If you realize now that, hey, when you come to the airports, almost all of those stores are owned by Indians. If you go to St. Martin, almost everything are owned by Indians. All the jewelry stores are owned by Indians. And Jamaican people, Yes, when Indians get in the dance hall, dog nyam for you no supper. <laughs> when the Indians get in the dance hall business and the reggae business, Jamaica, it will be end for you. Well, some of you might say super cat is Indian. Well, super cat is what you call a dogla. Meaning it's mixed with Indian and black. And super cat was a reggae artist, not a dance hall artist. Is that right? Well, one of them. 
But when you think about it, whenever Indians get in the dance hall business and the reggae music, boy, dog, yam, feel the supper down there. Meaning that, dog will eat all your dance hall artists' supper because guess what? No, the Indians are rocking white. Yeah. We ain't worried about it. Why she scared the whip? They ask me how you get like this. How you live like this. Yeah, the man is spitting rhymes. Now, for the rest of the Caribbean country, well, Trinidad is literally run by Indians, and Guyana is run by Indians. So Calypso and the business, Indian control that. So black folks, you guys are in serious trouble. Now, the Indians take over the business. They got in most managerial jobs. They're the number one population now in Canada. They have the highest income earning in America. And guess what? With that wealth redistribution into Indian hands. Sooner or later, they're going to take away the black woman. <laughs> Although we can't get their woman, they're going to take away our woman. Because guess what? They're spitting rhymes. Why you worry about it? Get up on my dick. Get up on the way. You know, people? <laughs> I never thought in my life I would hear an Indian guy from Kerala spitting rhymes like little Wayne. And while we are busy distracted and our dancehall music, Jamaicans have now become more trifling and acidic. If you look at the Indian artists, you know, there's no trifling in there. They're just drinking some beer and having some fun, but the acidity is not there. So sooner or later, when they're spitting rhyme, just like how you know you have Afrobeats beating dancehall, now you're going to have Indian rappers and reggae artists and dancehall artists going to spit your rhymes and spit you out of business. <laughs> what you did this is, we ain't worried about you. Watch me skirt the wind. Folks, if I never told you that this is an Indian rapper, would you know? It's all about cultural expropriation because we fell asleep. And if we should realize that, this man is spitting rhymes from Kerala. And he's signed by Def Jam Records in India. Now, that's big money right there for Def Jams. Yo, this is a global world. While many of us in the black community have fallen asleep, the Indians are educating themselves. The Indians are sitting back and learning. The Indians are organized. The Indians are doing business, organizing themselves, going into politics. The Indians are getting in everywhere. Kudos to you, Indians. Do your thing. But hey, don't get upset now when you know the Indian ladies kind of love the rap music now and maybe start dating the brothers. We don't want no fighting. Because if you're taking our music and they're liking the vibe, and sooner or later you're going to come and take away the black woman. So how come we can get the Indian ladies? This <laughs> my big stepper, underground methods, drive nachos, get the most not the lizard. So people, that's big dogs right there. Human are kind from Kerala. The man is spitting rhymes. So for the rappers in America, yo, you're in trouble. Remember, the black population is 13 million. Indians is 1.5 billion. And with this kind of song, it's going to inspire so many other Indians to start spitting rhymes. Just like when you come to the airport or go any business in the Caribbean, even the small little stores in Montego Bay, Negril, the haberdasheries, you realize Indians are buying them up. Even the supermarkets, Indians are buying them up. So they're organizing in business, they're organizing education, they're organizing religion, they're organizing culture and community. So dancehall artists, you guys are now in the Indian bullseye. The reggae artists, the Indians are coming for you. And when the Indians catch it, Boy, it's game over for all of you. So human are kind. Run the thing and rock it. And let them know that Indians got flow. Yeah. Peace.
people. Drop your comments. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Because if we don't change the game, and we don't up the game, remember, the Indians going to leave us in pain. On that note, Jam Can is out. And a cultural expropriation and cultural imperialism. I and I is talking about people. See you in the next video. Yeah. Human kind.